In this video, we will see what is a Maven repository and how an artifact is stored in the repository. And also we will see what are the types of Maven repositories. Maven repository is a storage area in which the built artifacts, their dependencies and third party libraries etc will be stored. So how the artifact is stored in the repository. So generally when we have an application with an com.xml, the com.xml will have group id, artifact id, version and packaging. So when we build the artifact with that form.xml, corresponding artifact will be stored in a location in the repository. So the location of the artifact will be the repository path slash the group id directory slash artifact id slash version slash artifact id iphone version dot package. So in addition to the package, it also stores the form.xml of that artifact. So for example, we have an application with group id, artifact id and version. Then when we build this application, then corresponding artifact will be stored in the path like repository path slash so the dots in the group id will be replaced with slashes here it will be replaced like com slash my company slash app and after group id directory then corresponding artifact id directory will be there so here we have my app directory after that it will be version then it will be the artifact id iphone the version dot packaging here we did not mention any packaging so the packaging will be jar. So this is the location of the artifact when we build the form.xml. So in addition to the artifact, it also stores corresponding form. So here we can see the form location will be the same path as our artifact. So why it stores the form? So generally whenever we have another application and we declare the dependency of this application in another application, then in addition to this application, the application dependencies will also be downloaded and those will be available in the class path of the new application. So that is the reason why we store both the artifact as well as corresponding form file in the repository. So what are the types of repositories we have? So we have a local repository and a remote repository. So local repository is a repository in the machine in which we execute payment commands. So for example here, so we have a client phone machine and client to machine. So in the client phone machine, if I build an application with the form.xml, First of all, it will search in the local repository if the dependencies are present. If it is not able to find corresponding dependencies in the local repository, then it will download it from the remote repository. And also when we build the application, the built artifacts will be stored in the local repository of client phone machine. Similarly, in the client to machine, when we execute Maven command, corresponding built artifacts will be stored in the so local repository of client to machine. When Maven cannot find corresponding dependencies etc. in the local repository, then it will go for downloading those dependencies from the remote repository. So what are the types of remote repository we have? So we have two types of remote repository, either central remote repository or public remote repository and we have private or internal remote repository. So by default, we don't have any private or internal remote repository. So we have public or external central remote repository. So whenever this client does not find the corresponding dependencies in the local repository, then it will try to download from the public or external central remote repository. But in every organization, we have to set up a private or internal remote repository because we have a lot of applications and each application will produce corresponding artifacts. So there should be a repository in our organization which stores these privately because we don't want to share these private artifacts external to our organization. So that is the reason we have this private or internal remote repository. In addition to that, when we have a private or internal remote repository, it will be easy for us to download from the internal network. This network speeds will be faster when compared to when we download from the internet. So how the artifacts will be uploaded or downloaded? So for example, if we execute maven deploy command in the client phone machine, the artifact will be installed in the local repository and also it will be installed in the private or internal remote repository. So, but the artifact will not be sent to the public or external repository. Similarly, when we are downloading the artifact, it will be downloaded from the private repository itself. For example, if the dependency is not present in the private or remote repository, then this private or remote repository will download corresponding artifact from the external remote repository and it will cache that artifact. That means whenever another application needs the same dependency, it will download it directly from the private repository. This way, this will proxy the public repository. Only the machine in which we set up the private repository will have access to the 
public or central remote repository. We do not need to provide the internet access for these clients because they do not need to access the public repository. They just need to access the private repository. So this is about Maven repositories. So in this video, I have explained how an artifact is stored in a repository and I also explained what are the types of Maven repositories. I hope the video is useful to you. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.